Hello, my name is Walter, and this is another throwback reaction for you guys. Today is still Avatar The Last Airbender, and uh, this episode is brought to you by the Avatar Amino that I'm on, and they chose for you guys the episode 10. Uh, which is interesting for me because this episode is about Jet and um, to me, you know, in this episode he doesn't really have much of a character it's more of during the later seasons he gets a character he gets a character and he gets more of a personality and a more of an outlook to him because this episode is he has a lot of vengeance against the Fire Nation which makes sense but, you know, I think there is something to say as well about having to draw a line between the good Fire Nation and the bad Fire Nation also a very subtextual context to World War II um, so yeah I definitely think this is an interesting episode for me to pick anyway without further ado let's go water earth fire air long ago the four nations lived together in harmony. But then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years have passed, and my brother and I have discovered a new Avatar, an Airbender nearing Aang. He has a lot to learn before he has, can save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. Yep, chapter 10, Jet. Oh, Momo. <laughs> the lychee nuts. I never got that as a kid. Like, I was like, what is that? Um, but it is a type of fruit that uh, falls in the forest. Yeah, he got caught. <laughs> so his boomerang is faster than his, um, than his airbending. That that is <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> A wise leader. Well, you could fly on your uh, gl uh, glider, though. Sorry, <laughs> almost knees there. Easy. Yeah, no. You walked into a Fire Nation camp, bro. Tell me again how your instinct saved you and you're on fire. <laughs> Literally.
Really? Uh, instinct? <laughs> That is fucking awesome. Even after all these years, man. Yeah, and Jet is uh, technically pretty good. Like, he's really skilled. That's one of the things that I've always admired about him. And also Longshot. Because he's a... He's a silent, sullen guy. Which I admire. True. Yeah, he, she liked her. <laughs> she likes him. Sorry. Where's the avatar in all of this? I just gotta ask. That's the smoothest way you can say hi to a girl I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, and you watch, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. What up, Smiler B? Nice. that he can take a joke about himself. I can take a joke about myself. Play your card straight. <laughs> yeah, it takes you up. Sorry, God, he said Katara, though. Isn't it Katara? Like, okay. Not gonna get into this debate, though. <laughs> And of course the sepia toned Like vision The sepia toned vision From Gutara Seeing Jet <laughs> Cause she has a crush on him True What is Sokka doing in the back? And how did he get past Pipsqueak? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Yep. Yeah. 
He got deadly serious there. And I guess that's the um and that was the first indicator. What pending he I don't know man. <laughs> oh that blush. What mission? <laughs> and that is, it was his play on um, Sokka's ego though. Cause Sokka's ego, to be honest, was a little hurting though. It's just an old man, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Oh no, that's his cane, bro. Pipsqueak, come on. Even you know, even you know that's a. Uh, Yeah, but all, not all Fire Nation members are bad though, Fire Nation citizens rather. It's um, bagged uh, gunpowder. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think you deserve that, Aang. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty is. Pretty much is. Doubt it. Girl. There was no knife, bro. There was no knife. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Okay, but no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are those your instincts or your feelings? Hmm? Could be mixing them up. Mm. Oh yeah, they they took the petroleum jelly. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. 
ici. Got caught, bruh. Mm -hmm. True, true. What demands of war, bro? This is a small village in Earthbender Village. This is not a war, it's a battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a... It's not even... It's just a colony by the firebenders, by the fire nations. Fire nation? Geysers. Mm -hmm. Bro, you the avatar, yeah. <laughs> and it's also error, so you know. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that's how you know he's hiding something because he's deflecting. True. Yeah. Don't think so. Really? How did they not see the traps though? You're still in denial, bro. See? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Ooh, bad move. Bringing up the brother. Ooh. Yeah, you deserve that, bro, to be honest. And I, I kind of like those claw thingies that he had. That's true. And the reason why Aang was always running away from danger, be it was because of his monk nature, you know? Uh, he in the monk nature is uh, natural to be pacifistic 
so anywhere, anytime, anytime a danger can find you, you know, you don't attack. You try to defend yourself by either running away from the danger, or if you are cornered you ha and you have to fight back, you don't hurt the person. You make sure that the it's going blow for blow. So, a little tidbit for you guys. And here's the, the one of the reasons why you can definitely see Aang as uh, an airbender because he was going in and out of that, so I really love that animation. And this this is one of the best animation sequences for me because that was one of the things that got me into like airbending and that's why I like love the element of air. And here in uh, Legend of Korra just took it up uh, two more notches as well. Uh, I'll talk more about that when we reach uh, Korra. Hopefully, if we even reach Kara, I'll have to see. And this is the first time uh, she ever did ice bending, which was really cool for me to watch. And this this was one of the things that got me into the debate for myself about the whole bending element thing. I'm like, yeah, water bending is pretty cool too. And also, I always admired Jet for his uh, bird whistling call thing. I always wanted to try the, that, like, and I did, but it's always never good. Yeah, his glider was damaged. Hmm. And we never saw Ang change his, like, sh clothes, like his at uh, at attire. Um, attire, sorry. Until like season three, where he was, we were forced to change because of you know, he was in the enemy's territory, like one hundred percent. So, <sighs> yeah. I don't think so. Soccer. I like I like that they went into sketch details here. Mm-hmm. And uh, from that painting, we see the girl as the last one, and I I like that uh, the transition turned into the little girl running down to get her doll that we saw in the before the transition into that whole paint sequence thing so that is really interesting for me that was pretty epic bro <laughs> i like that you didn't look at him instinct mm. <laughs> and sometimes, yeah. Okay, that was uh, that was a pretty good episode. Yeah, um, much more commentary in this than I would I was expecting actually. Uh, so yeah, not to hit the nail on the head or anything, but I would just like to reiterate some some of the subtext that was in here. And it's actually a lot of reflection to uh, World War Two and you know the, the Nazis and the Germans and you know how they were always confused with Nazis because you know World War Two was such an upscale from World War One and I was talking about how you know we had two world world wars and that's why in World War Two they were like yeah I don't think we need like. We want this to be prolonged anymore because I think uh, World War One was like eleven years, if I'm not mistaken, and um, World War Two was getting into that six years of war already. So they were like, "Yeah, I don't think we can do eleven years again." So they just had to stop it somehow, and I think attacking Japan was its best move because Japan was getting too big, and you're working with Hitler and everything. So. 
that was one of the things that was that was one of the things that I actually brought up in my reaction. If you saw me talking about um, the means to an end and you know the bombings and everything, but you know sometimes I, I that's why I said like sometimes you have to know where to to bomb and it's always gonna have to have some casualties. So that that's just war you know and Jad is right you know he's not entirely wrong but of course you know the the means of an innocent life is much bigger than uh, than a small battle because that is very much a small battle because you know it's more of the fire nation occupied earth kingdom um so yeah guys that was about it and i hope you enjoyed this uh, i hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like and if you would like to see more videos please hit that subscribe button and uh ring the bell to be notified of future videos for you guys and also no i don't know what you're talking about of any sketch no i don't know what you talk no i don't know so See you in the next video. See you then.